Hey guys, in this video we are going to be adding an activity indicator into our app. Now an activity indicator is, uh, if you have your iPhone or Android app and have, I don't know, installed an app inside and you open it and you do something, it might come up with this like uh, loading message and then next to it it has this like circling uh, icon or picture that like rotates and rotates and it, it indicates that an application or some part of an application like a game or high score is loading and that is what we are going to be adding today okay so the first thing we're going to do as usual is going to be adding our tie.ui dot uh, create window window not e window and inside that oops inside that usually I change my back I've set my background color to the default white but however because an activity indicators colors white the circling thing uh, I'm going to change it change it to a different color a darker color oops I need that sharp 804e62 it's a color I got from whoops where's that there we go colorpicker.com all you need to do is just drag your mouse and drag your mouse here and here and it gives you uh, a color like so it's really useful okay I'm going to close this and after my window I am going to create a switch switch is one of those on off things var uh, load switch equals tie.ui.create switch I'm sure you all know but the variable name could be anything but be I like to make it a uh, similar to what I'm actually creating inside my variable or my value in my variable so that I can actually look back to it like in my outline and say oh this is for my, my window and this is for my switch okay so I want it to be at the bottom so I'm going to say bottom is 30 and I want to set the value to false this means by default the value is set to false so the switch is at the off not the on now what we're going to do is create an activity indicator so var activity indicator equals again this doesn't have to be called an activity indicator you can call it AI a or you can call it hello or anything but it's just easy to remember what this variable is if you name it something that you can uh, remember and look back to it tie dot UI dot create activity indicator and inside as usual we are going to have a couple properties and the width is going to be auto because we don't want to set a statics, static width because we want to add a text inside and we don't really want to measure how long or how high we want this thing to be so I'm just going to let it automatically sort it out for us okay so the width and the height is going to be auto the message is the text that's going to be next to this circling uh, loading screen which is uh, could be I don't know loading or now loading or please wait or whatever I'm just going to set it to loading and the style is going to be the type of this uh, picture you're going to have that's going to circle around uh, style is going to be tie.ui tie could be titanium but it could be short for tie you could short it to tie and the only problem is that the style you can only do it for iPhone so it's going to be a property for an iPhone so iPhone dot activity activity uh, indicator style dot plane now over here it says plane however you can actually set it to copy that and then I'm going to comment it out and you can set it to either I don't know like there's dark and there's also uh, not plain, uh, there's also big. Now I won't show you uh, big and dark because they're similar to plain. Big is just basically uh, exactly the same as plain except for the fact that the circling picture is actually slightly bigger. But you, if you're interested you can actually change this uh, style later on and uh, see for yourself the dark and the big. All you need to do is change this bit to either dark or big. Okay, so that's going to be it and make sure you have the semicolon at the end. And by default, we want to hide this activity indicator variable uh, dot hide like so. Okay, so uh, what we want to do is when we turn this switch on our load switch, we want to show our activity indicator because for the purpose of this video, we don't want to create like a complex app spending like an hour on it just to show an activity indicator. All I'm going to do is when I uh, tap on a switch it's going to load my activity indicator okay so uh, yep load switch switch dot add event listener and we are going to be listening to the change 
from on to off, off to on. And as our callback function, we are going to be creating an uh, if statement, checking if this value is true or false. So if our value, so e.value, is equal to true, we want this to happen. And then else, if that was false, we want this to happen. So this is for false and this is for true. So in our true, we are going to say activity uh, indicator indicator dot show because by default we had set it to hide in line 17 over here. Now if it was false, our switch, if it was off, we want to hide our activity indicator. So we're going to say activity indicator dot hide. Hopefully I haven't made any stupid uh, typos yet. Now lastly what we're going to do is just give it some space. Uh, is we want to add our uh, switch and our activity indicator to a win. So win.add uh, load switch. If you forgot your variable name, you can always go uh, back up to your uh, app code to see, or you can actually go to the outline and it tells you when to load switch and activity indicator, which is quite useful. So win.add uh, activity indica indicator and then don't forget the window open at the end. Okay, so I'm going to save my app.js and run it through my iPhone simulator. So I'll be back in a sec. There we go, in our pinkish background for a window which I selected at the top background color, uh, I have a switch, it says off by default because we set our load switch value to off and we don't see our activity indicator indicator because by default it's set to not set but we said activity indicator dot hide so if I click this on hopefully this event listener is going to execute and it's going to go through the uh, actually it's already ex executing but it's going to go through the if statement and say e dot value is true so hopefully our activity indica indicator I can't speak today is going to load and I turn it on and there we go we have this loading whoops I forgot the a in my loading <laughs> it says loading Oh well, but as you can see we have this circling, uh, what do you call it, image, which indicates uh, that something is loading, you have to wait for something. And uh, because for our, in this video I wanted to make it short, therefore all I did was use this switch to turn this on or off, but in practice when you're creating a real app and you want to add this activity indicator in, you want to use it when you want something like big to load and you have to make your user wait for a couple of seconds, but you don't want them to wait in a blank, what do you call it, a blank st static screen because they might think that your app has frozen or you might get bored and they might quit. So this is a really useful. Uh, little thing and as I said if you change this activity indicator style from plain to big it's going to make it bigger and if you change it to dark I think it's going to be darker so uh, that's about it for this video thanks for watching uh, if you like it please like comment and uh, subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later